Hello gamers, welcome to my video blog, welcome to the Civilization 5 series and today I'm going to make a video which is not going to be an exactly a let's play but it's going to be a long, rather long video about how to move your difficulty level up from either Warlord or Prince to uh, Emperor. I know it seems like a huge step but in it, I hope this video will help you achieve that goal. I find Emperor to be the best challenge in this game in Civilization 5 because it opens up many options in diplomacy, in economics, in, in empire building and management and so on and the AIs aren't really as difficult as they would be on let's say deity level and it's a very comfortable difficulty level to play on. I think you'll find the same once you try to move up and I'm going to make this game slightly easier and you should do probably yourself this I will choose oval map which is basically a Pangea with rounded edges and I'm going to add two more AIs or maybe three you can add from two to four and it will actually make your game easier I know it sounds a little bit counterintuitive but it's easier in terms of um, AIs will have less cities and there will be more diplomacy and trade options available to you. So I'll add 3 as it's some, somewhere in between 2 and 4 and other all other things standard I'm going to take quick combat and I'm going to choose uh, Suleiman of the Ottomans which is probably the weakest Civ to play with not only on this map type but in general it's one of the weak if not the weakest civilization in this game so if you play with any other civ you're going to have an easier time I made myself uh, I made it easier to myself by adding more civilizations but I'm going to play with the weakest civ in the game and that's it I know I'm going to get a coastal start because that's what Suleiman gets all the time whenever possible and I hope for a decent start, not too powerful, not too weak. Um, and I'll try to guide you step by step into my decisions and the, decis the decisions you should be making about what and where to build and where to expand and so on. So let's look at the start. We have three firsts, which is horrible! This is a horrible start and we have some marble up there but it's so far away and we found a natural wonder which is nice I guess but this is a disastrously horrible start um, but I'll settle in place anyway we have some incense at least and this start is so camp dependent three first at least that's a bonus and we'll set her some sheep deer um, oh well anyways this should be a real representative game in that case because this start is just horrible I hope that I will have at least some iron there is no river for extra commerce not many growth options here some fish but that's ma okay so what do I d want to do with this start I want to stick to one city first and build a national college which is enabled by writing and by having a uh, library in your city in all your cities but in case of one city only in one city and I want to trade away my luxury resources so I can uh, rush by the library to be able to start working on national college faster Oh my god, I can't... <sighs> this start is horrible. Anyways, let's see. First deer, incense, first first ship. I think I'll bite it and go animal husbandry and trapping first. And improve all these tiles first and then go for writing. So th it's going to be a delayed national college. I'm going to open with a scout because I want to find the city states as, and as many civs as I can to open borders with them and then proceed to an early worker with the warrior I'm going to scout um, until I get the worker out after which I'll 
bring him back for barbarian protection. So yes, this start is <laughs> um yeah. And the first hit state is here. It's going to be Rio Maritime Neutral with Silver. Excellent. So that's probably going to be one of our first investments considering how weak food wise this start is. Okay. So let's move our scout. And I'm going to build a worker here. Let's see, animal husbandry in 5 turns, trapping in 15, that's 20. Maybe slightly less considering the population growth. Okay, I'm going to go with the worker next. Another city-state also with silver. It's probably a cultural one. Considering the color of the borders. Yes, Bucharest cultured irrational. Not allied with anybody. So I'm going to try to find as many city-states as I can. I'm already at 63 gold just from finding city-states. So that's one of the benefits of playing um, with an early scout. And there is Raman Keng. I'm going to snipe this ruin before he gets there. Which is good. There we go. We discovered mining, which is excellent. Some benefit for this poor, poor start. And no horses? Wow, this sucks. Anyways, let us continue in our exploration. There's Arabia, one of the strongest AIs in this game. And there is a nice... Uh, okay, there's Greece with silver. So he is definitely going to be our first victim. Not just because he has silver, but because Greece is one of the annoying saves to deal with. He is expensive, he likes to invest into city-states, overall pain in the ass, and there is Germany, who is friendly already. And there are some horses down here, but... Nothing too exciting, I'm afraid. Greece has a nicer start. We are 10 turns from trapping, 8 turns from worker. I'm still sticking to one city. I'm going to kill this barb camp now. There we go, 25 more gold. We are already at 100. And I'm going to proceed scouting with this guy. Oh, another ruin. Maybe I'll grab it. That would be very good. Oh yeah, 65 more gold. Could have been better, but oh well. I'm going to return the warrior now to protect my worker. And my worker's job is first to uh, grab one of those furs so I can sell another natural wonder. I want to sell that happiness for 300 gold to the highest bidder from the AIs um, and immediately rush by the library when it becomes available and then start working immediately on the National College. So there we go, parking my warrior inside the city, stating the obvious. Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon um, Sukhothai, close to... Both uh, powerful AIs are close, which is good. He already went for writing. Okay, let's sell him the borders for 50 gold. And, reasonably enough, there comes the first barbarian. As expected, I'm going to move out my warrior um, to this hill, so it's better defended. 
Now the barber will probably go either to the sheep or come closer to the city. There he goes. And now let's kill the barbarian. Actually trapping is two turns away, so I'm going to uh huh. I'm going to actually move this and start mining the hill. And now I'm going to build a monument. Monument because I want that two culture. I want my city to get more culture each turn. There's plenty of tiles and social policies to grab. Um, okay, the barb moved out. Trapping in one. I think I'll... let's see. Six turns to pottery calendar, 13 turns. Okay, I'll be um, writing in... 16 turns. I'll be working this deer and then this first first. So that's the plan. I'm going to take drill and pursue this barb. No reason to let him live. No reason at all. There we go. Camp in six turns. Kill the barb and then retreat to heal. And now I'm going to take pottery uh, for both the granary, which will benefit from the deer. I think I'm going to sneak past here and check out what's on this part of the world. Scouting is extremely important on this difficulty level. You need to find as many saves as you can. Also city-states, sell, uh, sell this a a AI is your open borders. Um, for extra cash, sell them your luxury resources, boost your empire. And there is the Incas, who are also friendly. Um, only Harun has writing, alright. Two turns till monument. And the first social policy kicks in. I'm going to choose tradition for extra culture and faster border pops. Um, liberty and honor are not so exciting for me, not in this game, since I won't be having much of my own cities here. I don't see any good placement for them, realistically. Um, this marble here is questionable. I actually don't know where should I put my second city. Maybe here. If I can grab this site somewhere. Blah. I mean, it's not so exciting. Anyway, time for granary. And then now riding. So exactly in 10 turns I'm going to finish my granary and my riding. And be able to sell. There is Florence. I'm going to be able to sell this first to the highest bidder and rush by my library and start working on the National College immediately. And considering how close my opponents are, I'm probably going to choose iron working after that. See where the iron lies. <coughs> okay, so I scouted this part of the land. I move, I'm going to move down here to scout Sukotai as well. I think in this game early ag ag aggression is going to be key. So I'm going to go aggressive, probably build a heroic epic from one city as well. Istanbul can be powerful as long as it's um, getting more population. So I'm going to take care of that as well. And I'm going to choose... Um, legalism next. I already have the monument here, so I'm going to get the free temple. The free temple. So that should boost my culture gains as well and now I have the first, now I'll try to sell those first to let's say Remekeng who has plenty of gold anyway 
There we go. 600 gold and going to sell these first as well. Let's move down and scout those lands. There is a barb camp somewhere up there. Declaration of friendship with Germany. He's far away. He is likely to get into wars. So I'll... Well, for now it's okay to be friendly with him. Um, okay. So I've got writing now. I got writing and it's time to go for... It's time to go for 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 iron working um, I'm going to rush by the library 380 gold and then immediately proceed to National College that's right I'm letting my city grow till pop 4 and then I'll yes Sukutai is friends with Germany as well which means my first target is probably going to be Greece and there's the barb camp. It's reasonably far away, so I'm not going to go after it. There we go. Germany declared on Greece already, which is good. I'm going to declare on Greece as well. They are going to hate each other. That's good as well. Notice how uh, going for granary first also increased my yield, uh, food yield on the deer. So that's another bonus. Nice lands down there. But unfortunately my start is horrible. So I'm going to... Stick to one city. And there is Seoul, also friendly, lots of friendly city-states. Let's see if we can manage these cities a little bit better. Yes, we can. Production, production. More production, National College in nine turns. There we go. One more furs available. And we're also going to sell them to Nebuchadnezzar, for example. He has enough money. 300. Yes, thank you. And now I'm going to focus a bit on on food, actually. There is Nebuchadnezzar borders. So I'll build a farm there. Uh, yes, let us work together. Germany, Siam and myself are now a trio. Arabia already made another city down there. Uh, no, Babylon is also bordering Germany so I dislike the idea of being friends with all of them. Close borders still matter very much. Let's see if we can optimize this a bit. And there we go. So maybe some more production. Nope, that's the best we can do. Actually, I might buy another worker simply to. Nope. No need. No need. And there is England. Let me see if I can open borders with some of them now. Um, nothing. Alex. How about open borders? Nope. Nebuchadnezzar. Yep. Remy. Already opened. Bismarck. 50 gold, sure. Harun. 
Nope. Pachacuti. 50 gold. There we go. As you can see, having lots of AIs in the game helps you gain lots of money from open borders as well. And you'll soon notice how quickly I'll get to ironworking once the uh, National College kicks in. I can sell borders to Remy again. I scouted his lands already, so no need to have open borders with him. Uh, social policy, I'm going to go with land delete. Because this start is food poor, I'm going to... I want my cities to grow faster and faster and faster. I'm going to have maybe two of my own cities. And now I'll... Uh huh. I make a camp here as well. Move my war warrior up there. And after the National College, I'll go immediately and rush by the barracks. Rush by the barracks and build uh, the. Um, going to make a warrior now. I'm going to rush by the the and I'm going to build a heroic epic as soon as it's available in four turns, five turns even. Let's see if I can focus on food a bit. There we go. And then I'm going to build iron uh, the, the heroic epic, and after that I'm going to. Okay, Sparta gets taken. That city spot down there. So it's basically a lake. What an ugly start indeed. I don't even know if I need to build a second city here. It's kind of silly. Maybe just stick to one city. Um, and now it's time to start on a settler, but I'll immediately switch. No, not settler worker. I'll immediately switch to uh, um, Heroic Epic. No iron in the borders, isn't that beautiful, but there is iron up there. At least some iron, it's, it's crappy, but what can I do? Uh, ha, 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 hmm. No iron, Rio or Florence will have two iron. Nothing spectacular either. Let's check Seoul, no iron as well. Um, this is bad. I think I'll have to settle this city here just for the iron and the set of the Potosi and it will serve as a crap city uh, basically it's going to be a one uh, one city challenge and now I'm going to take calendar um, and I'm going to switch to heroic epic there we go Well, Germany has six iron. Maybe I'll be able to buy iron from him. But um, I think I'll just settle the Cero. Wisest course of action. And the camp is done. Let's try to sell some more first. There we go, Pachacuti, and we are already sitting at 700 gold. Get this guy up there, and now it's time to choose... What do we want to do? We have potentially swords. Sparta is on a hill, Athens is on a hill. Six iron here for Bucharest. Eventually, 
do I want to settle another city? Do I really? I don't see any city site down here that would merit such an action. So let me see. I'll uh, what to do now. I think I'll just stick to the this plan and go with. Let's see here. Uh, um. I'll go with metal casting. No, construction first and metal casting. There we go. I'll maybe... Let's see. Tile gains. Masonry, yes, no, yes, no. No, 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 no. This is so crappy. Metal casting it is. Let's try open borders with Germany. Yeah, okay. I'm going to earn that money back as soon as I find some more sieves, so it's okay. I would probably want to settle the city for the 10 gold, but um, I don't know really. I'm going to get marble as well, but it's not a fan. It's not a really powerful start in any case. Okay. I need to keep my uh, eye out for um, any AIs selling iron so I can actually build an army and conquer Greece. That would be a very good move. Okay, Arabia is also friends with Germany. At least I'm going to keep my social policy costs down. Oh, now he'll open borders. Excellent. And notice I'm building the correct epic, which means all my units are going to be 50% stronger. Singapore has iron. So I might invest into Singapore. Yes, let's work together. Two iron there. Four iron should be enough. Uh, if I I need to scout Singapore first, see if they can actually uh, um, get the iron in time. Bismarck has six iron. So I'm going to trade with Bismarck here and build myself an army. Alright, 225 gold, which I'll be immediately getting back by selling this stuff away. First Remy ended, excellent, which means I can sell some more first. To Nappy, for example. And maybe some more. And a thousand gold is it is in my pockets and now let's see focus on growth same thing right let's see what we can do here with our super powerful Istanbul should I invest into an armory and then start building swords or let's see let's see um, how much does it cost to build an armory 500 gold and a uh, swordsman is 440 to heal promotion swords should be better so yes that's what I'm going to do invest into armory and start building swordsmen there we go so double promotion 
and I already have one swordsman here, one swordsman there. I probably should have waited and purchased the forge, uh, the workshop instead, but this will have to do the trick. Four swords um, should easily take out Sparta, maybe even Athens. Oh, he's hostile! How unpredictable! Completely. Well, your your loss, man. Research agreement, no. Metal casting and medieval era, and another policy, and this one is going to be. Um, well, if I'm this far into the game and I'll need to go per turn, I might as well go monarchy at this stage. Um, I'll easily add piety later when needed. So this should give me... I'm going to grow Istanbul to ridiculous sizes anyway. So I'm going to go with philosophy for the instant temple um, or construction even, construction for the production and then roads to my newly conquered Greece, ha! So as you might imagine some other starts would probably uh, be different in terms of uh, settling more cities. I really actually hated that there is I isn't a good second city spot because I would settle that. I really would. Uh, let's see, first for 281. Thank you. I'm going to go with actually, yeah, construction. Probably should have bought, probably should have went mathematics um, for the um, catapult, but I think I'll be fine. Actually, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll actually do that. I'll actually do that. So, flatland, hardland, and now some super improved swords. And one more swordsman, and then I'll probably rush by a catapult, and be on with it. Oh, there's Kathy. Open borders, please. There we go. More AIs. Okay. Six turn till stum two turns till growth, six turns till five turns till the long swords uh, the swordsman. Okay, three turns till math, excellent. I'll be able to rush by that catapult. And then I'd need to take care to actually be able to pay Bismarck again. Who did it end with? Let me see. Um, no, not the demographics. So notification log, uh, Pechacuti, Bismarck, and Nebuchadnezzar. There we go. They're always willing to pay part with 50 gold when they're happy, so friendly I mean so let us make another farm there or no lumber mill lumber mill lumber mill and exactly okay 24 girl 25 gold not so bad open borders to Remy ended so more 50 gold in the bank there we go.
Oh wow. Annoying little thing. And one more turn till the swordsman and then a rush bot catapult. Two more promos for him. Purchase catapult. And change the production to workshop. There we go. Workshop is insanely powerful now, so you should build it whenever you can. And now I can proceed to... Yes, I actually don't have production, so I'll go with currency. So I can build the marketplace and the national treasury, and also to unlock mint once I conquer um, Sparta and Athens. Uh, versus cities, yes, versus cities, there we go.